right, hello and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I am Demarius Jackson and today we are going to be talking about cheap student model alto saxophones. Specifically the Etude brand, I believe this is uh, the Etude ES maybe 100. Uh, I got this from Woodwind and Brasswind for my son who was a new uh, budding young saxophonist. And I think I paid about $250. Once again, I got this about a year ago uh, from Woodwind and Brass Wind around the Christmas time, they had a nice little sale going on. So I think I got it for about $200. And it came with all the usual things that come with uh, horns when you buy them, a cheap little case and a cheap little mouthpiece. Uh, now, my main question uh, when I got the horn, and it was once again for my son, who was a brand new saxophonist, was does the horn play out of the box? Can I make music from it? And the answer, short answer to that is yes. Uh, I immediately put my mouthpiece on. I would honestly probably never would use the uh, mouthpiece that came with the horn or I wouldn't even recommend it for my son. I actually got him a different model, uh, but I put my mouthpiece on it and played it and immediately played out of the box. And uh, for the most part, a year later after getting it, it still does play out of the box. Uh, it's a little stuffy in the lower register. See if I can play a couple of things on it. <laughs> It has a little bit of resistance to it. That could be the horn naturally, or uh, to be honest with you, I haven't taken it to a instrument repair technician in a year since I've gotten it. Uh, but I would say that's honestly pretty impressive considering a 12 year old using this horn and putting it in the case, which I'll show you a little bit later, probably being thrown around. Uh, the fact that it still works generally is honestly pretty impressive. Uh, so short answer, would I recommend it? Yes. Now let's talk about some of the uh, features, or not really features, just let's talk about the horn in general. Now first thing I will talk about are the ergonomics, how the horn feels. Now me being a uh, professional saxophone player, most of these cheap horns, uh, this one was made in China, a lot of them are made in Taiwan or uh, somewhere overseas, they all kind of mimic or model uh, a, it's called a Selmer Super Action 80 Series 2. Uh, I would honestly say they all kind of feel that kind of same way in my hands. So if you're a, a new student or if you have a new student learning the saxophone, I think this would be a, a good horn for them to start with uh, just for the general feel of it. It doesn't feel too out of the ordinary in my hands. Uh, if you really want to get into nitty gritty, we're talking about like the pads. If you can see in there, I don't know if it's showing on the camera. Uh, but it has metal resonators, so you have your typical leather pad here. Uh, most horns have either plastic or metal resonators. This one has metal. Uh, that dear, uh, differs from company to company. It's all about kind of a little bit of a sound thing. But if you're a beginning saxophone player, honestly, that's a little bit further down the road. But those things do matter. Uh, and uh, the general, the feel of it is pretty good. Now, I will say my son honestly probably doesn't swab this instrument as much as he should, no matter how much you try to tell, you know, a 12 year old, they're going to be 12 year olds. Uh, so they don't swab it too good. So if I were to look at the past, most of the ones that go uh, pretty quickly as far as uh, not lasting as long are these ones up here just because generally it's thinking about just the nastiness of it. The spit comes down and it wears down into these pads. And if I were to look at them, uh, they are actually looking like they're in pretty good condition. The only one I would say that's in pretty bad condition, uh, well, it's pretty typical for this is the neck. If we look at the the one up here, it is pretty chewed up and we're gonna have to get that replaced uh, sooner than later. Now, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that were concerning for me. Now, one of those things were uh, the the build quality, if you will. So every you know couple of months or so, every month or so, I'll check on the horn uh, from my son just to make sure that it still exists and that it still works. Uh, but I noticed one time I took it out of the case and every single one of these screws were missing. Now these screws connect the bell to the body of the horn. And when something like that goes missing, if you don't know a lot about saxophones, just know that that is really bad. It can throw things out of whack as far as the, the actual horn ceiling, which basically means you won't be able to play any of the lower notes on the horn. Now I went to Lowe's and replaced that kind of a <laughs> whack job here. Uh, I am not an instrument repair technician, but luckily uh, none of it was damaged too much. Once again, it's a little stuffy. It's probably a little leaky down there. Uh, just leaky means like when I cl close it, the pads don't seal all the way and some air escapes making it hard to play. In some cases, impossible to play. Uh, but this one, luckily, it still works for the most part. 
Another thing that I noticed uh, one day, and this is prior to the, the, the actual bell body screws being missing, I noticed that both of these screws up here are missing. Now, if you look at right here, this is for a lyre. So basically, if you're a marching band, you stick a lyre in there, put some music on there, it's a little clip, and you use the screw on the side to tighten it up to make sure that it doesn't fall out. That screw was totally gone, and the screw right here that actually tightens the neck so it doesn't move around on the body of the horn was actually missing. Now, once again, it could be, honestly, him just unscrewing it. He's a little fidgety, if you will, unscrewing it and them being totally lost. Or, I don't know, it's just one of those things. The other thing that uh, that really kind of bothered me, and not really bothered me, I honestly expected it from a, a horn that only costs like $200, was the case and the case quality. Let's look at that really quickly. So here we go. This is the case that actually came with the horn. Very, very lightweight. That could be a good or a bad thing. Uh, in this case, is more than likely a bad thing considering uh, that you're housing a, a saxophone in here. If you look here, I'm not like... I mean, I do have some guns, but I, I, I can like literally press into the case. It's very, very uh, soft and uh, not, you know, like good hard quality plastic here. And one thing in particular, let's take a look at the inside. Now, hopefully you can see this. Uh, there are a couple of holes here and I can only assume, hopefully it's not uh, anything uh, that uh, my child has done, but this is more than likely from just the horn going in and out of the case. It has rubbed against this kind of cheap, flimsy material and caused two giant holes where you can actually see styrofoam coming out of it. Uh, it's not a very secure fit. And so what I mean by secure fit is when I put the horn in there, how much movement does it actually do in the case? All right, so now that we have the horn in the case, you can actually see, if I were to keep this still, it does a quite a bit of moving. And honestly, when I close the case, put these latches on, this hurts my heart every time I hear it and pick it up. I actually feel the horn shift down, which is not necessarily uh, a good thing at all when it comes to like the actual case and securing the horn. Uh, but once again, for my son having it for about a I'd say that I'm pretty impressed that it honestly still works. So long story short, would I recommend this horn to you? Yes, I would. And there's a couple of stipulations I put on that. If you're a beginner saxophone player, uh, you never played it before, and you're just looking to see if you would be interested in it, if you're not sure you would stick with it, I would absolutely recommend this horn. Yes, it played out of the box. Uh, my caveats were, or not really caveats, that's probably not a good word. My requirements were, does it play out the box? Can I make music with it? Short answer once again for that is yes. I would definitely recommend it. This will probably last you a good two years, I would say, before I would start looking at something in the intermediate model uh, maybe even intermediate advanced or advanced or whatever it is that you're looking at. So I expect this to last about a two years. Beyond that, that's probably honestly not too bad of a horn to have. Uh, to be honest with you, if my son doesn't continue to play, if he has no interest in it, I would probably use this. Uh, not probably, I would definitely use it as a backup horn uh, in case of emergency, break in case of emergency kind of situation. Uh, so hopefully you got something out of the video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to get to those and answer those for you. Remember to smash the like button, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And until next time, I will see you.